From afar, you hear orders echoing in the desert air. You cautiously sneak closer and discover a large detachment of soldiers searching a temple. Fight! I will fight everything. Oh, was there was there actually a level up button? I missed, must have missed it completely. I, I don't know. A little tired. I've been playing a lot of EDF and not a lot else. And it's just been like a long week of being sick mainly. Luckily, it looks like almost all of them are are uh, kind of crap. Let's put Miguel there. Put both of them there and immediately just go to town on the dog. Pro probably. Dog has 23 HP. Okay, I can't shoot anybody. I'm gonna aim at the in the general direction of that shock trooper. Because shock troopers are significantly more dangerous than dogs. Dang it! Well maybe? Oh, that's just a regular soldier. I thought he was also a shock trooper. All right. Good to know. If I do... If I go right there. I get a good shot at something. And hit him? Yeah. Good, good shot. I have one grenade. I put myself right there. That's good cover. And I can take a pot shot at that dog. Okay. Because, yeah, dogs clear a lot more ground than most of the other enemies. Owie. Yeah, we're going to need a camp soon. Switch to the Baron. Baron can move here. Baron has... Just reload. The 50%, 52%. Got some for it. Okay, he's dead. Maybe hit him. It's a bit risky, but my cover against this guy is pretty good. He's gonna get closer. Okay. We'll reload on the next turn. Because I figured that 40% evasion chance is, is worth it. Okay, he's pretty injured. I'm going to give him the sluggo. That didn't work. Okay, we can pop over here and shoot him, though. This should work. Nope. Well, yes. I figured we'd actually have a shot. We could, you know, poke around the side, but I guess, I guess not. I guess it's a sacrifice for being behind cover. Understandable. Oh, we get more stuff. We get a Tarnished Stiletto. Painkiller. Hastings Bomb number 23. And a, mon a monocle. Okay, so where's the... Oh, there's the level up button. I am blind, apparently. Uh, let's see. So let's let's get him the agility. Extra movement speed seems like a good idea. The extra health might have not been bad either, but I don't know. Okay. Let's go to you. So weapon, item, weapon, item. So Tarnished Stiletto does... Oh. Should probably actually compare. It looks like our equipment's kind of bad. Uh, so we might actually want to go with the shotgun? Accuracy is worse. Piles are worse. Good damage, blast, reach... Yeah. Oh, skill required. Can't use it. We can use the Hastings bomb. Oh, wait. Can I just stack him? Hey! More guns. So, Tarnished Stiletto is... Not as good as the pocket knife. Maybe a higher crit chance, but... 
not worth it. <laughs> yeah, we've just got shotguns aplenty and nothing else. Alright, well... Yeah, we're running out of fuel, so I'm just gonna kind of beeline. As soon as you notice the Nazi flag, you stop immediately and look for danger. Soon, you realize it's an abandoned flag and leave. As you take a short break at the edge of the track, a strange humming sound fills the air. You decide to get the, to the bottom of the matter and follow the sound as it grows increasingly intense. As you climb a dune ridge, you feel as if every fiber of your being is vibrating in response with the humming. From the crest of the dune, you see a deep depression in the sand. At its center is a huge, black, pitch black monolith among some strange rock formations. The humming object seems to emanate from the humming seems to emanate from the strange object. You soon reach the foot of the monolith. Once there, you experience almost total silence, but the air feels like it's electrified. Inspect the monolith. As you circle the area, the humming returns to full volume as soon as you are a few steps from the monolith. Apart from this, however, you find nothing that indicates the function or significance of this strange monument. Confused, you set off on your journey yet again. Okay, so we got a camp. Uh, do we hit up something else first? Yeah, let's go to this one, zigzag a bit. Now we have just enough fuel. Stop the jeep immediately, noticing a metallic object in the ground. You decide it's useless trash and leave. Well, All right, let's rest up. Okay, so we have three fuel left. One, two, three. Sure. Excavation site. Using the surrounding rocks as cover, you make your way to a German, uh, to the enemy camp. A large unit of German soldiers have begun begun excavations here. They are uncovering a buried temple entrance. You decide you debate whether to risk an attack. Yes. I don't know what I get to bring back with me if I have to complete a run. I don't know. Okay, so we have five enemies. And we have, we only know where one is. Let's see, what has the best cover? I'm just gonna park us all the way back here. Yeah, because none of this has good cover, really. Okay, we'll come, we'll go forward with the Baron. And we're gonna ambush that man. Because I don't think anybody else is closer. So I figure every all of my enemies are gonna have to run v very far to get to me. Most of them seem to be dogs. Balls. Well, this went badly. Okay, so we've got that trooper there. What else do we have? Dog, hard to hit dog. Mind you. Let's grab Miguel. And then there. How much damage do these do? I move you here. I can stab this man. It might not be enough. Yeah, we might have... I might have screwed up before this one. We'll see. Maybe... Yeah, we're not gonna take to... Uh, I'm gonna have to explode some dogs. Well, at least I can explode said dogs. Okay. We have an explosive, but I'm gonna have to move closer for it. Baron. Where else can I move? Maybe we'll shoot that dude. Actually, if I do that, that should work. Okay, Miguel. 
We're gonna move here. That should hit all three dogs. What? How? What? I... Did... Huh? I think the dog bugged out. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's still mobile. Shit. He's still alive? Yeah, I don't think that dog's supposed to be able to avoid damage like that, but... Alright. I, I think it bugged out and, like, it kind of stunned it for a round. I can't come up with a better explanation. Okay, after defeating your enemies, you explore the temple. What were the Germans looking for here? You soon find a deep shaft that leads into the interior of the ancient building. You lower yourselves on ropes. After a brief underground exploration, you reach a chamber decorated with hieroglyphs and wall drawings. The Germans have smashed various stone chests and have begun setting up their metal crates. However, they've not yet managed to transport their finds. Do we get money? Money! No fuel, though. Oh, hey. He levels up. Okay, so extra damage. Extra damage. Oh. You come upon an abandoned German military camp. Curiously, you search the camp. Maybe the Germans left something valuable behind. We find crates. You tear off the lid to the first crate and hear a soft metallic click. You triggered a German booby trap. Immediately, you throw yourselves to the ground and put your arms over... Okay. So Miguel takes eight damage. You're fortunate as the main force of the blast goes over your heads. Once you get past the initial shock, you look around. Miguel is rolling around in the sand, clutch clutching his calf, which has been ripped open by shrapnel. Fortunately, the wound is not too deep. You soon manage to staunch the bleeding, and Miguel is able to hobble about. Well, that's a bad place to put us. You see the fortified base of the Excavation Regiment Southwest on the valley plain ahead. You finally reached your goal. As you're considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot a lone, wormarked jeep approaching a vehicle. You hide behind the rocks and wait for the patrol to disembark. Then you take them by surprise and tie them up. A short time later, you drive into the German camp wearing borrowed uniforms. The bored-looking sentry waves your Wormach jeep through with barely a glance. So far, so good. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex. Morton must be here somewhere. Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. Use the painkillers. I don't think I can, actually. Use on. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. I think I wasn't supposed to sell that. Well, whatever. I don't have any shotgunners anyway. I don't know if I get to keep valuables. Anyway. Disguised as German soldiers, uh, we find him. No? Anyway. You suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars. You immediately jump in your capture jeep and tag onto the end of the convoy as it exit the, exits the camp and heads into the desert. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary auxiliary base. You see Morton being led away. You don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear a shout. You have been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons. This is it. W is V in German. Yeah, you're right. Wehrmacht. Okay, so we've got six Germans kind of in the immediate area. None are clustered particularly well. Hey, there's Morton. Let's see.
think I'm gonna do that. We want to kill that medic, probably, before that medic becomes what keeps anybody up. I'm gonna move back. Is that? Oh, that's just a regular trooper. Well, that barely did any damage to him at all. Make him come to me. They probably have some dogs back there, but still. Yeah, it's a dog. I'm hoping they cluster a little bit so I can hit them with a grenade. I've got two left. Yes. Your positioning is amazing! Okay, Miguel. Ain't that handy. Do you shoot the dog or the shock trooper? Probably the dog. Damn it! Yeah, we need better guns. This will be much easier with better guns. But we uh we made our lives easier. Uh-oh. That's a bad place to be. Is he still alive? He's still alive somehow. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna knife the dog. Then we're just gonna go over here. Do we? I'm gonna get shot if I do that by the dude with the shotgun. Probably still going to run into trouble here. Now, 25 to 37. We can shoot the dog. Shoot that guy. I'm just gonna move there. Maybe I can body block the dog. Because I don't think he can get past Miguel. Yeah. Okay. And then the shotgun is going to have to run and probably not hit. Yeah. All right. We're good. Okay. So, Baron, you are no Harkonnen, but that's okay. Anyway, we can just stab this man. We should be able to just shoot this dog. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Reload all weapons. When the guns finally fall silent and the smoke dissipates, Morton stumbles towards you. It's always good to know you can rely on your friends, although it took, you took your sweet time about it. You won't believe what I got my hands on in Casablanca. Too bad the Nazis took everything. Ah, oh, well. Maybe another time. Anyway, we get... Guns and equipment and stuff. I should have saved that shotgun, but I wasn't paying attention. Eh, it's fine. We got some goodies. Chattering excitedly, you stroll back to your Jeep. You get in and drive into the setting sun while Morton entertains you with his absurd anecdotes. Show stats. Time taken. An hour. Really? No? No, it took less than an hour. I'm curious about that that clock there. Fuel used 19, ammo used 35, items used 11, money collected, experience gain, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah, we can pursue a new adventure. So, first and foremost, I'm going to turn up the starting fuel and ammo. Just so I can actually explore, because I think it's a lot more fun. So, it looks like there is actually kind of a story to this. Which is neat. Now, we do have money and some other things I should probably look at. Jeep storage. Oh, hey! We should actually look at these things. Now that I've beaten, beaten the first round, let's actually check dialogue. 
Uh, let's see. So Pathway consists of a series of individual adventures that gradually increase in difficulty. At the start of an adventure, you need to assemble a team from total available unlocked and uninjured characters. Oh. The number of characters in your team depends on your adventure. Once you've assembled your team, you can equip your characters with new items provided there's loot from previous adventures. When you select a character, their character stats are displayed to the right, along with a brief summary of their strengths and weaknesses. The three colored bars immediately to the right of the character portrait indicate their health, armor value, and bravery. Stats, got it. Perks. Yeah, I wonder if we can earn perks or something. Okay, unlocking new characters. You start the game with a limited number of playable characters. Additional characters are unlocked during the game whenever you meet certain conditions. The precise conditions for each character are displayed when you left-click on them or read the achievements list. Hospitalized characters. Characters who are incapacitated during an adventure are locked for the next expedition as they need to recover from their injuries. You can pay cash to buy better medical care and reduce their time. Okay. Persistence. Regardless of the outcome of an adventure, every participating character keeps the EXP and items they gain. Only cancelling an adventure will reset any EXP points and items gained by all participating characters during that adventure. Let's see, you can access your trophies. Yeah, I don't care. Oh wait, no, maybe I do. You can access your trophies from the tab on the bottom right of the codex screen. These trophies represent all achievements you can complete in Pathway. Move the cursor over an achievement to see its name and the actions required to unlock it. Every unlocked achievement grants a reward. This is also described in the tooltip. Each reward can be claimed by either immediately when an achievement is unlocked or later by left-clicking the achievement on the trophy screen. And we don't care about this. Travel. Oi, the, there is a lot of things here. Perk list. Okay. Uh... I care about most of this stuff. I some of this probably do. Protected areas. No, that has nothing to do with uh, being grenade proof. Disintegrators. What? Okay. Well, let's take a look at trophies. I'm assuming I have nothing useful. So, unlock characters, okay, collect items. I wonder how many of these things are actually... Oh, we can get this one. Oh, no, no, we've already gotten that. I wonder if those are just baseline for the next mission. Oh, I see. Lock for the... So we can change the time now. So daytime, nighttime, morning. Cool. So, I think I'm just going to do this one. Turn this up. I'll probably keep the, uh... Well, let's slide this around and see how much it changes. Oh, only minus 10 and 20%? Hmm. Oh, either way, I figure I'd like to do more fuel and more ammo, because that means I can explore more, instead of just beelining for the end. Because the problem with beelining for the end is I don't get to explore much, I don't get as much loot, and I feel like I just get to ex uh, experience less of the game. I don't know. I think that's my plan, at least. We may want to rerun the first mission two or three times for items, maybe. Okay, why don't we do that? Why don't why don't we do uh crank up the starting fuel and crank down enemy health and damage, and let's just like raffle stomp the first round. It looks like we, oh wait no 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 no. This is an important thing to check. Fuel. How many characters do I get? I only get two for this one. Dang. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll go back to this one, we'll raffle stomp it. Do a little bit of initial grinding. We'll try some new characters, too. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, we don't have good anything. We've got a couple of good things, I'm noticing. He still had that splendid peacoat. And this guy's got a battle dress, which is actually pretty good. He can repair armor, too, but his damage is lower. He also f low stats and fears undead. I see, so he's got good equipment, but still. Oh, he can also use a lot of weapons. Ancient languages, brute, and superstitious, so reduced damage versus undead, which is rough. Heavy armor skill, can equip heavy armors. Heavy armors enable the special ability hunker down when active, reduce all damage, but it does reduce his armor count. Huh. Interesting. 
What's his skill tree? Extra damage with assault rifles, extra crit chance with pistols, shotgun, crit strength 14. Interesting. So he's like a weirdly super all-rounder, but yeah, master of none. Also can repair medium armor, has a knife, has a shotgun, extra magazine size. Resilience, reduce damage, extra damage for some animals. Interesting. Yeah, so why don't we, why don't we bring, uh, Piranha along? Captain Louise Piranha... Per... Pereri... Pereira? Pereira, probably. Brazilian Steamboat Smuggler. The problem is, it seems like it's kind of in my best interest to build... What is reflexes? Ah, evade chance. Oh, uh, what do we have in my... I'm just gonna bring this guy along for a second. What equipment did we just pick up? We got an automatic... Oh, hey! Perfect character. Uh, so lower range, lower mag size, more crit damage. But decent amount more damage? Sure. Okay. And... Oh, he's got battle dress. No, no, no. This is battle dress, but he can't use it. Can either of these guys use it? Medium armor skill, medium armor skill. Who here can use heavy armor? You? Or is it only him? I guess we already, if we already have a battle dress, maybe it's not that necessary. Medium and light armor, huh. Yeah, so this, this guy doesn't have that much armor. This guy doesn't. This guy's got buttloads. And his weapon's not bad, hmm. We also have uh, another grenade, all in patch. Oh, you can also pre-buy things. Is there anything else to spend money on? Oh, having spare armor is good if you can't repair it. That's a good point. Okay, well one way or another, let's sell that old Assault Rifle. So do I want to do this combo? I guess I want to take a look at his skill tree as well. So, knife knife damage up. Extra agility, extra shotgun damage, accuracy. Okay, what about the other guy? Because he was talking about, like, low build potential, but maybe it doesn't matter so much. Extra accuracy is nice. And they both have knives. It takes a while for you to get the uh, assault rifle damage on this guy, though. Hmm. I'm just going to be switching around while I kind of look at the characters, because I'm curious how they how they function. Because this guy got assault rifle damage immediately. Okay. Why don't we do it this way, then? Let's take his gun off. We'll have Miguel come back. Uh, let's see, Miguel? Miguel. How do I get this guy out of the party? Eh, Miguel, take it. Take the gun at the very least. Get out of here. Alright, we might have to just, like, kind of re... Ah! That's, that's how. I was still on the equipment page. Yeah, no grenade sounds a bit rough, seeing as they seem to be good panic buttons. It does look like I need to pick up more, though. Because actually, I ran out... I seemingly ran out, unless there's like a store somewhere. But I think I might actually have to buy them while I'm out in the field. Which is an interesting one. Yeah, he only has medium armor skills, so this is just gonna sit around forever. Still, kind of fun. Alright, well, I guess I just hit to part, but in reality, this is going to be the end of the first episode, probably? No, I don't know. There's gonna be something. Uh, I don't know how I'm editing this series. But send the first or second episode, so either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pathway. Uh, you already know what's going to happen, so anyway, let's go see what uh, Ruffle Stomping is like.